How's everybody doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal H Technology Screens and Smart Technology Game. This is part two of the frost glass. Now, I said before, you know, you got to be careful out there because you have a lot of people out there, not everybody, you have some people out there that will um, try to cut corners to make something look good when it really isn't. Now, keep in mind in that video, it was using a 45 lumen projector at around five to six feet from the screen. The projector was pretty much sitting up on top of the screen, especially for the lumen count that projector was pushing off. And of course, the image is going to show off. But I'm going to show you what happens when you do real testing, when you basically push the envelope and you don't cut corners. Now this is the frost paint. I used it on a piece of plexiglass, which I have up against the window. And I'm going to show you what you're going to get uh, from this particular product. Now keep in mind, you're seeing all the red lettering. This is, some, this is something you want to spray in a well ventilated area and it's meant to make the glass look kind of frosty this is not meant to be used as a rear and front projection screen and this is why you got to be careful like i said with some of these screen paints out here that try to use a lot of high power projecting 4k upscaling or high power 4k projectors and uh, high lumens to make the screen look incredible so let me show you what we got here same demonstration and what i want you to do is i want you matter of fact you don't have to look at the bottom of the comment section because i'm going to actually put my screen up there also so this right here is the plexiglass coated with the uh, frost paint and you can see a little bit of the image popping up just a little bit but here's my projector right here I'm using a 3200 ViewSonic projector at around 8 feet from the screen and this is what you get see how much lights coming through that window this is what you get like I said, one of the things I don't like is when people try to challenge our technology, try to downgrade it by saying that, hey, look, you can do it with this and you can do it with that. No, you can't. You can't cut corners when it comes to technology. You have to do it right. Now, let me show you. Let me pull this down real quick so you can see this. I'm going to take this over to the table in here. I'm going to show you what it looks like when you coat it. It has a film to it. Like a real film, any imperfection you have in the surface is going to show up in the surface. So that's what you're going to get. Now, I'm going to leave that right there. I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to get our technology. I'm going to put it up in the window. All right, come back over here and show you what we get. Get that camera to focus. Now this is my technology. And as you can see, you can see the image popping up. You can see the fish moving back and forth. It looks absolutely fantastic. This is the way it's supposed to look. Now keep in mind, if it's taking on this much light coming through the window, what it's gonna look like on the other end, it's gonna be actually magnificent. Now the next stage I will be doing is since I have this big glass window, glass door over here, I will be taking uh, the, um, I will be taking the uh, both sheets and putting them in the window also to show you the difference between our technology and that frost glass. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually move this over far in like so over here and get the frost glass from Home Depot. Keep in mind some of our, our, our screen will be overlapping and show the difference between both of them side by side. So this is our technology here. See? My focus doesn't want to play with me right. This is our technology here and that is the frost Let me go back and see if I ran out of video I think I did run out of video there we go there we go ran out of video okay before my time runs out here I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal H technology screens using smart technology gain showing you that you can't cut corners by using high power projectors and poorly lit environments that you know like i said if i were to take some of this screen paint and put it under our excruciating uh, uh, uh um, testing it would fail miserably just to show you that you just can't cut corners 
when it comes to technology. I mean, this stuff right here, I would not use this. Only it should be used for what it's intended to be used for, is to give you a kind of a frost look to your glass, but this is, should never be used for a front and rear projection screen. And like I said, very easy to pull this off if you're using a projector that's sitting right up on top of the screen. All right, let me come over here. Oh, sorry about that. Look at the angle. Look at the angle gain we're picking up from the window. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to take this off. And I'm going to show you something. See how you can't see it here? Now watch. As I walk back toward the projector, it's going to look better and better and better. Now that's because that's how it's done. They sit the projector right up on top of the screen, and that's how it looks fantastic. Move it farther away, and it washes out. Now, you look at our technology in the window. See how fantastic that looks? Now I'm going to take that down. Before it even comes from the window, from here, look how beautiful it looks. Projector's way back there. Look how fantastic that looks from here. Right against the radiator, look at that. All right. Now, we'll take this technology. There you go. That's the difference. All right, again, hope you enjoyed the demonstration. Thank you all for your time. I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Edge Technology Screens using Smart Technology Gain.